Cut to that social media video of border vigilantes taking it upon themselves to detain migrants in Sullen Park. Tonight, the American Civil Liberties Union is calling on lawmakers to stop it. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie S. Safer live in Sullen Park. The ACLU of New Mexico is investigating a Facebook Live video from an armed vigilante group saying what they're doing is illegal. Uh, this is a group that we just had come in over here by base camp. As we are trying to find out more information because we were pretty outraged and concerned when we found out and we saw those images and the videos. The American Civil Liberties Union of New Mexico is talking about this Facebook Live video, reportedly recorded by a member of an armed vigilante group called United Constitutional Patriots. Groups like this vigilante group should not in any way be enforcing the law with uh, families who are seeking asylum here in the United States. The ACLU claims the detention of nearly 300 migrants in Sunland Park was done unlawfully and could be considered kidnapping. We do not want untrained agents to go to the border with no oversight and no accountability to handle these asylum seekers who are just legally trying to seek safety here in the United States. She says the first question that came up in their investigation was whether this was a case of citizen's arrest. So we asked former CBP El Paso Sector Chief Victor Mancares. Quite frankly, the only first only type of individual that is authorized to stop someone on immigration uh, violations is an immigration officer. During his time with Border Patrol, Mancari says vigilante groups were common in Arizona, but posed a safety concern for officers. Now you got other people that are armed, and the guy forbid it in the darkness for some confusion, and all of a sudden someone's going to get hurt. We reached out to several members of that vigilante group all day and have yet to hear back this evening. We did get a statement from New Mexico AG Hector Valderas saying individuals should not be attempting to exercise authority reserved for law enforcement. Live in Sunland Park, New Mexico, Stephanie is safe for KTSM 9 News.